This is the story of how I grew squash queen soup and rode upon the back of the whale of the woods. I had saved some seeds from a blue-green squash that my friend had given me. Hi! Last spring I placed these queen squash seeds in these little beds of soil. And a few weeks later they popped their little clapping hands out towards the sun. Its palms absorbed all the sun's beams. And then it grew up a little. Produced some buddies. Who looked like kings and queens. Then they went to live in their outside kingdom. With the most splendid hats. They grew and grew and grew and grew and grew. And here are the two squashes that grew. Small but hopefully flavourful. I decided to make some soup with the last one. Roasted it with a few small sweet potatoes and spices whilst trying to remember a recipe my gran used to love. Then went out for a long walk to eat it halfway. A woodland well-being walk. Steamy hot soup is the best. We sat on Whaley's back whilst we ate. And then she said I could ride her as we swam through the rest of the forest. It's dark depths, full of many singing creatures. There were strange, knobbly things upon the forest bed. And coral-like growths emerging. Iced steps with mazes beneath. All near this shrieking one and a splattering of what resembled our soup upon many limbs. Ready, you did. Whilst some more orange soup-like substance proceeded to consume some crystal crustaceans, Whaley showed me some Whaley superb things. I call that clever soup that it can eat all by itself. I wonder what nutrients this contains that makes it so tasty for the soup-like slime to gobble it all up. Does Whaley know? She doesn't say much just an all-knowing look within her eyes.